drop him, drop him. One hook and I'll rock him. One more and I'll stop him. Call the fighter, I'll up him, up him, up him. If he reaches, I'll pop him. Street sweeper, I'll wash him. Homicide, come and chop him. Drop him, drop him. One hook and I'll rock him. One more and I'll stop him. Call the fighter, I'll up him, up him, up him. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros are comments made by Eddie Hearn where he addresses that there's been communication between uh, his camp, AJ's camp, and Tyson Fury's camp, and he talks about the fight. Now, this video appears courtesy of Seconds Out, Radio Raheem, so we can't show it to you. We're going to play you the audio. Obviously, first we'll talk Joshua and possibly Fury. If that fight is agreed to, as it's been reported in the press across the world is that a fight that happens this year and I know you as a promoter are going to make the deal that your fighter wants but you as a friend is that the best fight next for Anthony Joshua? Probably not I mean I think that if we were honest and we had our plan already in place following the defeat which was to come back in December with a top 15 guy have a couple of fights get some wins get the confidence gel with a training team but also, Anthony is a guy who has wanted to fight Tyson Fury for a long time. And he sees this as the opportunity, maybe his only opportunity to ever fight him. So he thought about it very carefully and he wanted to take the challenge. Um, the training team were comfortable with that. The management team were comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with that if he is and, and the whole team are. And it's a tough decision because it's not ideal coming off a defeat, fighting Tyson Fury. But he signed to fight him before and he's wanted to fight him for such a long time that this was the opportunity that was put to him, whether it was real, whether it was, uh, you know, uh, a bluff, whatever it was, but we took the bait. He Do you think it's a bluff? I don't know. I mean, it could be, it could be, but I believe, you know, all the meetings that I've had with George Warren and those guys, which have been very pleasant, they assure me it's not. So I have to go along those lines. I just don't believe Tyson Fury, you know, and, and the track record gives me the reason not to, but, I don't want to go into this with that attitude. I want to go in with the attitude of, I believe you. We're in. Let's see if you are. We're still waiting for the contract. We, we um, Last Friday, we said we accept all terms. I spoke to George Warren today. He assured me we'd have it tonight. So let's see what that contract looks like and go from there. But we're in. And, you know, I can't lie to you and say it's the perfect time for us to fight Tyson Fury. But it might be the only time. Did you make a case for the cons of this fight with Joshua? No, I didn't need to because, you know, well, I guess we had that discussion of the alternatives. And after the Saudi Arabia fight with everything that happened, which I think actually the aftermath was good for him, you know, it just relieved a little bit of that pressure that was bubbling up inside him. I wanted to give him a few weeks to even talk about a December fight. You know, the week after the fight, I said to him, look, let's see if you want to fight in December. He said, I do. I said, okay. The week after, I said, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm fighting in December. The week after, I'm 100% fighting in December. So, like, he's fighting in December. And if he don't fight Tyson Fury, he's going to fight December 17th against someone else. So, the, the pros the pros are cons of the FC. The pros, he gets to fight the fight he's always wanted. He gets another shot, instant shot at the World Heavyweight title. He makes a lot of money. The latter, not that important, because if it was, he wouldn't be doing a fight in the UK. The, con, the, the cons are, how's your confidence, you know, going into this fight? Um, emotionally, are you okay after, you know, the episode that we saw in Saudi Arabia? And only he can answer those questions. And the people that are with him day in and day out, i.e. the trainer, the training teams, and, and the, the whole, you know, training team. And he wants this fight. So that's what Eddie Hearn said about the discussions with uh, Fury's camp to make the fight with Anthony Joshua. Frank Warren reported that he's already sent the contracts. He sent the contracts uh, this weekend to Eddie Hearn, so he's waiting for Eddie Hearn to sign. That's what Frank Warren reported. So I'm going to turn over to you, Conspiracy G. What's your reaction to what you heard from Eddie Hearn? I mean, Eddie said all the correct things. Like, you know, um, in the back of Eddie's mind and the back of AJ's mind, it should be, hey, do you really want to take a guy who's undefeated, who's confident right now, versus Anthony Joshua, who just took two losses in a row, his confidence seems a little shot. He, he had a little mental breakdown at the end of the last Usyk fight. You know, so these are legitimate concerns. You know, if I was a promoter, I don't know if I would take the Fury fight. But 
this is a good point. You know, it'll be probably difficult to get another opportunity at becoming a, a champion again. So AJ's probably looking at it like, you know, this, this opportunity fell on my lap. I'd be foolish not to take it, you know. So it, it's it, it's tough, man, for uh, for a person in AJ's position. But I don't know, man. This is I don't know if I would, unless I was a slimy promoter and I'm just trying to cash out on some Don King status. Then yeah, sure, yeah, let's set up this fight. But if I really care for my fighter and I and I think, hey, he has more fights in him and. You know, I'm concerned about his longevity in the sport. I don't know if I would convince him to take this Fury fight right now. You know, I, I think, you know, uh, like best practices, like get him in there with, you know, Tuna Can or well, with um, what Eddie called him, get him in there with somebody in the top 15, preferably somebody that's ranked number 15, 14. You know, like somebody with one of those fake belts. Yeah, you know I mean, like that they could gas. Like, oh, undefeated from a country we ain't never heard of. You know, just to build AJ's confidence back up. So I don't know, man. This is tough. But salute to to AJ for for agreeing to take on Tyson Fury, whose confidence is on like a thousand trillion. You know. All right, Dollar Bill. I'm with you, G. I'm with you, G. I wish I could see my name because I changed my name. You know what I'm saying? It's not true dollar bill anymore. It's believe it when you I see it true. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new name. <laughs> you know? Uh, um, yeah, I'm with you. I think I really think it's too soon. I think that after the two losses, I'm I'm with you. And y'all know me, man. I, <laughs> I I I be I be you know cradling these fighters sometimes. But gee, I, I second what you're saying. I'm thinking maybe February, you know, Valentine's Day against Junior Paul. You know, <laughs> I'm just, you know, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if you really care about him, but don't just throw him right in there. He just had two really tough, tough fights with Alexander Usyk, man. You know, and we're starting to see his brilliance. So you just want to throw him back in there with another uh, tough guy, another warrior, in Tyson Fury. And he's like. Yeah, you're not really you're not thinking about the best interests of your fighter, unless unless you were doing what G said. You want some? We just going to cash out. We just going to cash out and uh see what Conor Ben can do for us. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's what. That's and Conor Ben's it, and not in, in you know a really good fight in my opinion right now as we speak. So. Man. You know, so we don't know what's going on with Eddie. But, uh, you know, but shoot, I believe it when I see it. But I do think that uh, AJ should rest for himself and for his career. I think two things. I think Eddie Hearn said the right thing to absolve himself of any responsibility should this go wrong for uh, Anthony Joshua. Basically saying that, like, AJ wants this fight. His team wants this fight and saying like, you know, ideally it, it wouldn't be this way. And we had a plan, but Anthony Joshua wants this fight. Again, I say this. All great fighters, all real fighters who have dog in them are always going to want the big, tough fights. It has to be someone who cares about them or someone with business savvy who goes to Anthony Joshua, like G said, if. If he thinks that Anthony Joshua has more left in him and say, look, we'll be back here someday. Let's do what's more advantageous for us is to get you in there with a top 15 guy, let you get more time under your belt with the trainer who's going to take over. Is it going to be Robert Garcia? Is it going to be someone else? Let's get you an identity. Let's perfect your style. And then let's make another run at it. Right. But no, instead, it's you just lost to Usyk twice. You're coming off of two L's and you're going to go immediately into the fight with the guy Tyson Fury, who's seen by many as the number one heavyweight now, right? Lineo, 
beat Deontay Wilder. And I know there's there's cons against Fury, but the point is, if there was ever a right time for Fury to get Anthony Joshua, it is right now. It is right now. And I think Frank Warren knows that. Tyson Fury knows that. And they're ready to pounce on him. And AJ says he wants to fight. Of course he wants to fight. Now I'll say this. I have no issue with AJ taking this fight. If it's AJ's career and if he wants to fight, I think he should get the fight. But Eddie made it known. And this is my point. AJ wants this fight. His team wants this fight. His management wants this fight. So we're going to make this fight happen. And, you know, of course, I had a plan. I had a plan to put him in there with the top 15. But you don't seem to be complaining about this Fury fight. Right, because you know it's going to generate revenue, and you know it's going to generate that money. And you know if AJ loses, I mean, you could probably get him in there. If AJ loses, I guarantee you this: if AJ loses to Fury, they will make the Wilder fight so fast your head is spin. If he loses to Fury, that because because then it's like, where else would he go for a big fight? If he loses to Fury. They're going to go to Wada. Well, you think there's someone else, G? No, no, no. I say exactly. I agree with you. Yeah, like, if he loses to Fury, now it's like cash out city. When you talk about, like, a Hail Mary, this is the ultimate Hail Mary. And 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 just to be clear, Fury, there is danger in this fight because Fury is risking everything. Fury's the one who could make Undisputed right now. Fury's the one who's in the driver's seat. Fury's the one who has everything to lose. So 60-40 is fair. I hear people talking about AJ's more popular with no belts and not going to be Undisputed and anything. Fury's the one right now who has it all. So for him to just let AJ through that gate and only ask for a little 10% more of the gate in, in the revenue generated, I honestly think that's a generous offer for Tyson Fury. If he was, and this is why I believe Fury really wants to make the fight. If he was trying to bluff, he would have said 70-30. He says 60-40. So I at least respect that Fury may really be trying, because if you're Fury, like, let's be real. And I'm going to close with this. Usyk just beat AJ twice. So it's like, okay, I'm going to fight the guy who beat AJ twice, which where I'm from, that means he's probably a better fighter, right? <laughs> so I'm going to fight the better fighter and make less money? Talk to his team. What What do you think I would generate if I fought AJ right now in the UK? They gave him a number. What would I generate if I fought Usyk? They're like, well, maybe a little bit less or around the same number. Why wouldn't I just beat up AJ? And get paid. So I'm not mad at Fury. If you think you can beat him and you can make money, then make money. Which we'll get into in the next segment. I think that idea was so bright, it may have been stolen by another top heavyweight we're going to discuss in the next segment. <laughs> Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros.